aka Bell and Circuit. Today we're doing the second beat breakdown from this month's sampling session. Link in the description, of course, as always. Uh, also, the complete beat will be linked uh, as well. I didn't really use too many samples on this. We've got the bongo slash drum loops from the DJ Battle record. Also the LL Cool J scratch and piano sample from the jazz record and a guitar sample from the funk record. Oh, and I played some bass. So let's take a look and see what I did. Let's get into it. So the drum loops came from that DJ battle record, scratch record. There are two separate loops. Both uh, are heavily filled with bongos. They each have a slightly different uh, turnaround at the end, a fill. And because they came from this DJ record, they're pretty well uh, on the grid. I didn't have to do much. That was nice. I did my usual trick of taking a small sample of the loop, filtering it down, and using it more of a breakbeat kind of thing. Instead of layering over the uh, other rhythm track like I have in the past, it's separate. It's used as a break uh, to give it a little more dynamic range. Uh, so when you come back in with the full beat, it's even more um, impactful. And this is what that sounds like. Bongos. Processing here, just using um, the drum bus from Ableton, which sounds incredible. Um, and then filtering all the low end out of this, and high end too, I guess, out of this small uh, skittery section. I got a guitar sample from the funk record that sounds like this. I'm sending it to a lot of reverb and a little bit of my ambient wash send. Then, we have the same sample except extended. Let me turn off this super massive plugin and so you can see what it sounds like with the vocal chanting. But then I smear it with this Valhalla Supermassive plugin. This is a free plugin that you can get from Valhalla. I'm not sure why Valhalla is giving away this Supermassive plugin because it's amazing. Go grab it now. I'm not paid to say that. Anyway, so when you add that back in, you get this. which is pretty crazy. So then when I layer the dry guitar sample with the super massive guitar sample, you get this. The washi version does include the vocal sample, something about liking to party. I mean, everyone likes to party, right? 
Also on this track with the Supermassive, I have the piano sample that I got from that jazz record. So without the smear. And with. The guitar and the piano are just smeared beyond recognition. So after I had Supermassive slathered over everything, I was hearing a bass part. So I grabbed my bass, played a part, keeping in mind the tried and true method of funk of leaving lots of open spaces. So get this. And that's pretty much it. I did chop it up a little bit just to make the arrangement a little more interesting in places, but mostly it was just the riff I played. Then the other element that we have is LL Cool J telling us that it's hard as hell. Hard as hell. We had a little bit of that guitar chord at the end, which Conveniently, I was able to layer over a one and really kind of gave an extra punch. That's pretty much all there is to it. There's some arrangement magic going on here where I have the beat drop out and bass and break beat come in here and there, bring in and out the various elements. You know, just the whole beat making song crap thing. Just mess around till it sounds good. If it sounds good, it is good. Fucker.